Hello everyone, and welcome back to part four of Build Your Matto. Okay, so I've not done any recording for over a week. Just had my family over from New Zealand, so I've had a really nice week. Yeah, seeing them, seeing some other relatives. But obviously, they're headed off back to London now, and obviously, they'll be back in New Zealand next week, so it's time to carry on building your matto. Okay, so, so far all we've really done is obviously we've put in some uh, keel sections. Obviously we've added some uh, bulkheads and also we've got some uh, decking plates fitted. But the only parts so far that have been glued are these keel supports. So from this video on now I'm going to start actually gluing all the uh, bulkheads in. I'm going to start gluing all the, the keel face plates down. And obviously I'm going to just add all the parts that came with part 4. So let's get started with that. Just getting all the parts out with the cable part four. Just got some more parts for the, the bridge and the range finders. Yeah, that's quite nice. So far, there's only been that face plate that's got any curve to it. All the other ones that came in issue two and four, they're all sort of really, really flat. Okay, so before signing the parts from that's came in this issue, I'm going to get all this glue down. So I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to remove, remove all the face plates. So the only two sections so far are glued to these and obviously none of the bulkheads are glued in. So what I'm going to do first is obviously just start applying some glue to all these surfaces and get this first face plate glued in place. Okay, because obviously the uh, thickness of the bulkhead starts to reduce from 8, 7 to 6, I'm just propping them up with some scraps of wood. So obviously so we don't get a seesaw effect when we start pulling the, the decks down. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cover all this area with glue, ready for the first face plate. Just put plenty on, we can all wipe off after. Sorry if you ever hear any background noise, I've got my son here. And obviously he likes to play Fortnite, so he likes to shout at each other and all the mates on the game. So sometimes you might hear him shouting. <laughs> it's all good fun. You for today. I ask him many times, so would you like to build a model like your dad? <laughs> Just looks at me going out. I find it weird that I'll see. He's got no interest in it at all. I mean, I love it. <coughs> I've enjoyed building the model since I was. I mean, you're mad. Okay, so I've glued all this section up. And obviously now, obviously, I actually drew a little pencil line so I knew exactly where to glue. Just so I didn't get too much glue on where it's not needed. Okay, so I'm going to pop the faceplate back on. To these four little pegs. Okay. Right, this face plate's quite flat, so this should be okay. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the instructions, I'm actually going to put some extra pins in. It's all going to be covered by deck in this, in any case, so it's not seen. But I'm just, I'm just know we're going to get a nice secure fit then. Okay, so I'm just turning it around for a better angle because I'm left-handed. So all I'm going to do is first of all, I'm just going to draw a pencil line just straight down the middle where the bulkheads are. What I'm going to do is obviously I use it for when I'm building the HMS Victory. It's this little pin drill. All I've done is I just want to tax with the end cut off and I just use it as like a bit of counselling 
So I'm just going to put it on the line. It just makes the, uh, putting the pins in a lot easier. Like I say, you don't get any pins with a the kit. These obviously just came with me. I've got loads left over from the HMS Victory. some pins in. And that's what's going to help to keep the face plate and the bulkheads really nice and tight to each other. Okay so I'll just carry on for this section and then I'll come back. Okay so this is this face plate all pinned down, put about six seven each uh, each bulkhead. So now it's time to work on this forward face plate. I'll just show you why I've got these uh, these little off cuts there because obviously if I didn't, when I'm putting this next face plate on, I'd just be doing that and obviously they could slide down and not put quite in the correct position, so that's why I've done that for. So I'll just put it back on the little, so you know, just keeps them all nice and solid. Okay, so I'm just going to glue all this up and add the next one. So just putting loads of glue on this time because this is a face plate that's quite twist, got a little bit of twist to it. So just putting loads on, I can only wipe it after do it for on this scene. I was making sure I don't put it in that one yet because we're going to have another section of keel sliding in there. Okay, so I'll just bring this next flame. Face plate across, I'll slide that on. And like I say, you can you can quite see obviously the issue with this one. Slight bit of twist. But same kind of what I'm gonna do now is obviously I'm just gonna draw some pencil lines across these bulkheads and then uh, pin these down. I'm just measuring the distance between because there's obviously no indication pin on this top one. So I'm just going to measure the distance between them both. Just to the centres. So I've got 57 millimetres. So I'll just draw a mark. 57 millimetres on this line. And I'll give it a centre and this bulkhead. I like to pre-pin them for is obviously because you know that when you actually put the nails in they're gonna go straight down because you can keep your you can keep your pin pusher straight. If you're just gonna put a nail in without any uh count pre they can like you can nail them off to the side so then they obviously then they burst through the bulkheads or obviously like the ribs if you're doing this model wooden ship. Yeah so I like to just Pre-print first, and then I'll be going straight here. Okay, so I'll carry on. I'll nail all this binding down, and then we'll come back. Okay, so that's all the nails in the uh, second face plate. But once now, I've not really brought this a lot flushy now. I mean, this barely is before you can really feel it now. So it's quite flush. What I'm done to do, I'm just going to nail a few across this keel section. So I'm just going to draw a couple of pencil lines, just straighten them up to measure that. 
I've got 30 mil, so I'm just going to make a pencil line on either side. 30 mil. Jigsaw pieces, it'll tie them all together. This will do is just help to really tie all these. Okay, I'll just repeat the process on the uh, starboard side. Okay, so I'm just running a layer of pins across this keel section, and that's pretty much brought these two face plates. Obviously, this one is really twisted, that's pretty much brought it all, all level now so I'm really happy with that. Just added a couple of clamps to the front edges obviously because we can't obviously put any pins in this section yet until we add some more to it. But what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to do one last thing, I'm just going to add a couple of, because these two edges are still a bit when they can move, so I'm just going to add a couple of off cuts, glue them in, in place and then just clamp them to dry. Okay so I'm just turning the section upside down with some working on. I'm just going to add a, just a little well, you can see what I've got. Just going to add a little off cut there just to keep that nice and flush. So, obviously, so when we're planking this section, obviously the planks are going to go across there. So, what I'm going to do is just going to put another pencil line. Let's get a finer pencil. Yeah, it's just got a better pencil. I'm just going to put a pencil mark on the inside of there. So, I don't know just how long to cut this to. What I'll do now is just tie the two decks in and keep them nice and uh, flush. Fitted the clamps to these uh, support sections of the screwed in place. And obviously, I've pretty much got to just leave it to dry now overnight. So I'm going to end this video here. Obviously, I can uh, carry on with the bow section tomorrow, which is from part four. But obviously, I thought I'd kind of keep the videos a bit shorter. Probably get a few more out, obviously, rather than, obviously, because YouTube only really supports videos for, for one day, especially when you're a small channel, so pretty much after after the first day, it's really hard for then new people to see the videos, so for you, I keep the videos a bit shorter, probably get more out, and then more people see it. Anyway, before I go, just want a big shout out for all my family in New Zealand, obviously, really miss you guys, I know I only saw you in, in, in January, once when I visited, and obviously, I've just seen me on Clanty, but yeah, I really miss you all, and obviously, I wish I was coming, obviously, January next year, but obviously I'm not. But anyway, I'll see you all soon, and I love you all to bits.